Hi, we're going to continue our access training session looking at developing and creating an access database. Now, if you've been following along, you've created your first table, uh, as you can see here, and you've also established relationships within your database as well. So the next step is to get data into your data database. So just as a recap, uh, if you haven't already followed along, then please follow along with the forms video. Uh, you can see the link at the end of this one, and there'll be links at the bottom there. Uh, and also creating a table as well. You really need to do that before you go to this next stage. So you should be familiar with the database tools up here. Okay, so you've got the database tools. Uh, and as you can see there, we've also got our relationships window and I can see my relationships here. So hopefully you can see your relationships there. Now the problem is, is that we need to get information into our tables. Now this all depends on how you're going to do this and there's various ways of designing your database to be able to be easily to easily enter data within your forms but the first thing we're going to do is just create a form using a wizard so we're just going to close off the relationships window I'm going to go to create at the top of the screen here and then I'm going to click on form wizard here so if you give that a click form wizard so give that one a click there so in the form wizard box as you can see uh, you choose your table that you want to create your form out of now we want to create a, a table a form from two tables in fact two forms one form and a subform. So we're going to have a look at the data as well. So we've got some of the information here is actually superfluous. So uh, let's just have a look and see which information that we need to bring across here. So the first bit of information is in customers. We're going to bring all the fields across. I don't know if you see that now. I did that rather quickly. You click on that double headed arrow there and that brings all of the data across. So now I'm going to swap to my orders form. So here I have my orders form. So I've got a few bits of data there. Let me just zoom in so we can see what we're going to bring in there. I want to bring in order ID. So I'll need that one there, uh, especially later on uh, when I come to link this form with another form like the order details. I'll need the order dates. That's fine. I'll also need the customer ID as well so it knows which one to link to. Now the product and the amount and the unit price, if you're following along, that's a bit superfluous because this is going to be on the order details form so I can enter in people's product and the unit price, etc. So we're going to add that in a bit later so let's just zoom back and we're going to add in order ID we're going to add in order dates and I'm going to add in customer ID and notice there it telling me it's customer ID from the table orders table the foreign key there that's good click on next now how do I want to view my form well I want to view it by sub forms and the main form is going to be table customers so click on next how do I want to see my subform? Well, instead of using a data sheet, I'm going to use tabular here. So it gives me a little more flexibility. And if you can do tabular, you can do data sheet. So there we go, I'm going to choose tabular. Click on next. What names do I want my forms? So the first form, I'm going to give the name FRM instead of TBL, customers. And my other one, I'm going to use sub FRM uh, orders. So let me just zoom in so you can see that. There we go. FRM customers, subform orders. One customer can have many orders. All right, see then. Let's click on finish and have a look at what we've got with the design view here. Great. So we see our form is created. Uh, I can see Acme, Miss, Minnie, uh, Mickey Mouse, and all of his address here. I can see the subform here, and I can see all of the orders. One of the things I really need to check is if I look at these record things at the bottom, these record selectors I can use to navigate between my forms uh, I can do that so I'm just going to click on the next record to see if my data changes here that looks good that's imagine and the other thing I just want to need, need to check is the customer ID here I just need to make sure that these two match up and if they do fantastic I do not need customer ID so what I can do is I need to design this form so let's go into design for, for, uh, view and see if we can muck around with this form, make it a little, little prettier. Uh, just have to excuse my aestheticness here. So maybe uh, it's not as pretty as you would like, but then you can adjust the form to your liking there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the form tab at the top and go down to and click on design view. So it's just design view there. Uh, okay, I've got a bit of a stinker of a cold today, so please forgive me for having a bit stotty. All right, so here we are in design view. What I can do with this view is I can adjust the form how I want. So this is my orders. So I can just say orders here. I can give that as a name. I can use the little uh, dot, square dot in the top left-hand corner to drag my field 
uh, label here and I drag my subform over here. I can adjust the width of the subform by clicking on and adjusting the width here. That's great. So I can make this look exactly as I want. As I said before, I don't need customer ID for this. And the reason I don't need customer ID is when I click on the subform here, let me just click on the border. Uh, let's just move myself out of the way a bit. Uh, if I click on the, uh, where is it here? There we go, data. I can see link master fields, customer ID, child fields, customer ID, it's already linked, that's fantastic. So what I can do is I can click on this data view, uh, this uh, customer ID, and I can press delete on the keyboard. I'll do the same with the label, just nice and tidy. Just to make sure that works, let me just move myself down here again, is I'm going to go to form view, have a look at my data. Oop, give it another click. There we go. And what I should be doing is as I'm going to another record, here we go, I can see that my data changes here. All right, that's good. So far, so good. Now, the issue can be is now I want to click on maybe a button here, maybe a link or a button, but it's like a nice clear button. So clicking on a link can be a bit cryptic. So when I click on a button, it will open up another form. And in that form, we will type in the details for that order, which is the products, etc. for that order. So let's have a look and see how we can do that. 